Here we are in our example form 1040 populated using Lacert tax software. You don't need tax software to follow along, but it's a great tool to run scenarios with. You can also get access to the form 1040 related forms and schedules at the IRS website, irs.gov, irs.gov. Starting point, we've got the single filer, Mr. Anderson, living in Beverly Hills, 90210. We've got the 100,000 W-2 income way over the threshold to be getting the earned income tax credit, but that's our starting point here, and then we will lower that number. 12,950 standard deduction, getting us to the 87,050 taxable income. Page number two, calculating the tax, 14,774, 15,000 withheld. And that gets us to the 226 of the bottom line. Back to page one. Now we're going to be saying that there's one child. So when we add the child to it, it's going to generally move our filing status from single to head of household. Let's do that first. All right. So now filing status has moved to head of household. We've got the one child here. And we're going to say now the standard deduction has increased to the 19400 instead of the 12,950 for the single filer because we went to head of household and then on the second page we note that we have the uh, child tax credit but we don't have of course the earned income tax credit now if we have the one filer then we want to think about uh this category the max credit could be the 3,733 and then there's a difference in like the way the curve would look for a single filer or non-married and a married filer. So this would be the maximum and this is the two, this is the items or the AGI limit when it phases out to zero. But we also wanna think about the curve as it goes up. Now, the other thing to point out with this is the lower income side with these refundable credits also could result in situations more likely where be getting married could be a disincentive sometimes because then you could you could end up losing you know a fairly substantial credit which is often a case when a child's involved so it's kind of an interesting situation because you can you can question well does that in what does that incentivize as well in terms of the tax code is that having an impact because usually getting married is a benefit from a tax perspective if you're well off or middle you know if you're but on the low end with these refundable tax credits there could be incentives not to get married which is kind of you know it seems like not exactly what you would want uh but that's kind of some of the problems when you have the the other issue of course is that this credit in particular is trying not to fall into the trap of is locking people into not being able to get work because they lose the credit that's why you have that earned income component but there always seems to be some of these negative kind of consequences with some of these uh, laws but in any case We'll take a look at that as well let's bring the income down and we're gonna say let's bring it down to let's just say it like four thousand to start off with four thousand of income i'm gonna remove the federal tax just so i don't get confused and we'll basically plot out the curve and then we'll get into the married situation and possibly look at you know what would happen to two single people that then got married situation all right so we've got first the the uh, 4,000, obviously that's below the threshold now of the 19.4, therefore no taxable income, but still could have a benefit to file because of the earned income tax credit and the child tax credit. We're focused here on the earned income tax credit. So at 4,000, let's just plot this out again so we can get an idea of 4,000. The credit is at 1365, uh, 1365, one, and let's bring it on up to 8,000. 8,000 and just see what that does on the credit. Credit goes up to 2729. So let's put that there. 2729 for 8,000. And let's jump up to 15,000 just so we don't spend too much time on this. So 15,000. So now we're at the uh, 3733. That's the peak. So 3733 at 15,000. That's the highest point of the credit. So now it's going to go back down again. So let's go to 20,000. And we'll say, okay, 20,000, 3733. So it's staying at the peak. 20,000, 3733. Let's go to 25,000. 25,000. That 
brings us up to 2951. So we got 2951 at 25,000. Uh, hold on a second. K okay, Paul, so 2951, 25,000. 2951, okay, 30,000. 30,000, almost there to the maximum or until we phase out entirely. Uh, 2152, 2152, 2152. I did it again. Dang it. 2152, 30,000. All right. Go to 35,000. Get out of here. That's not what I wanted to do. 35,000. And then one three five three okay one three five three for thirty five thousand forty thousand forty thousand almost to the upper threshold to get anything obviously it's going down five five four so that's the five five four the forty thousand and then let's if we go anything above 43 so 44,000 let's say 43 uh, 492 it goes to zero so let's say 44,000 it goes to zero now note that if you had combat pay for example that's pay that wouldn't be included in income but you might be able to include it in wages and you can see why that might be a benefit I mean you can include it possibly in income earned income for the calculation of the earned income tax credit, which you could see why would be beneficial possibly because it could result in increased credit as the income basically uh, goes up. Let's go ahead and plot this on a graph just so we can kind of get a visual of this. We'll say plot it on a graph. Boom, something like that. And so now we can see you can kind of visualize what's happening. Your income is going up income on the X axis the credit going up it caps out at that 3733 which it stops out for a while and then it goes back down until your income goes back down to and you don't get any more credit if we mirror that in this is the instructions for the form 1040 we're looking at this column now we're saying okay single filer this is the income level one qualifying child this is the amount of the credit as income goes up so it's going up, 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 and then it's going to cap out at some point. It's going over here. It's up, 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 and then it's going up, 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 and over here, up, up, up until it maxes out at the three seven three three. That's at the ten nine fifty, and then it stays at that flat level at the maximum for quite some time. So it's flattened out there until we get down to still going still going so we get down to the 20,200 about and then it goes back down so that's going to be the curve that you can imagine in your mind if we mirror what we did here the 15,000 falls in there and then it starts going back down 25,000 it should be at the 2951 at what was that 25,000 25,000 which is down here 25,000 2951 right and then it goes to the 30,000 2152 30,000 30,000 is a, is 2152 and so on 